What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Regine X, G5, Exposed the Truth. I don't know. Let's get what is up, Surreal Gang? So real tea. How are we doing today? Let's get into the video. Jazz and the rest of FOE threw a Memorial Day party. Now, guys, when I tell you, they look like they had a time. You, they had a time, okay? Yeah. They invited all the girls, all the guys. They had food, drinks, and they even had a bouncy house. I'm not really sure why I wasn't invited, but <laughs> I'm glad they had fun. The G5 and Regine had officially stopped talking. Well, guys, since then, G5 took to his Instagram today to clear up a few things. Now, the other day, I remember I reported that a lot of people were speculating that maybe they were just talking for the show. Well, guys, he cleared that up real quick and he let it be known that they were not talking for no show. And she wasn't all of a storyline. I played and she left and and broke boy uh, ain't M is not ish to brag about. You gonna shut the F up if I really pop out. What do y'all niggas be talking about, bro? That was not a storyline. They actually were really dealing with each other, but he effed up and she left him. He stated, shit wasn't no effing storyline. I played and she left. And broke boy A, ain't M is not shit to brag about. You gonna shut the F up if I really pop out. I'm guessing he meant a broke boy and M is isn't anything to brag about. A lot of people believed he was throwing shots at Ahmad, but he was actually speaking about himself. Someone in the comments asked to clarify, and someone stated, caption translation, the yeah. relationship wasn't for no storyline. So dead, he was with her, but messed around, and she ended up leaving instead of staying. The second part is referring to the people that keep calling him broke boy. He basically saying he has millions, so bragging about a M is not nothing to brag about. Thank you. Thank you. He really shows y'all how he's living and what he got if he really pops out. And G5 did comment under that as confirmation, letting him Boy, know. Well, I'm trying to tell you, I ain't know what you, what? <laughs> oh, I'm guessing he was correct. Now, guys, I'm not sure what's going on, but we do hope that he is not sending shots to Erman. In the comments, he clarified and said that he wasn't talking about him. So let's just hope that because that is so uncalled for and not needed. But we're glad that he was able to clarify. That, I don't think he's talking about him at all. I think they that might have that little debacle might have happened, but that was it. I don't think them niggas think about each other at all. Like I don't think Regine thinking about neither one of them niggas neither. So on what happened with him and Regine. I know he may not have told us exactly what happened, but like he said, it wasn't for a storyline like we all figured. And she just left him because he played. Someone asked, did G5 have a girl the whole time and was cheating on Nay? And he stated, hell no, you must think she's green or something. I don't play like that. He also let it be known that there was nothing for him to expose when it comes to Ned, which so why did you say that? Like, if I if I really exposed the truth, then what 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 are you talking? About? I'm so happy Woo! that he cleared that up because she does not deserve we that. Like, if you're gonna be playing in a young lady's face, she has all right to leave and focus on herself. Especially right after you guys stopped talking, you come in and posted a picture of him and his ex. So did you play with your ex? Or did you play with her and she left you and you had no choice but to go back to your ex? But whatever it is, guys, it's over and done with now. You guys leave your comments down below and let us know what you think. Let's get into Kiana J and King Darren. It seems like they're no longer friends. The other day, Kiana took to Twitter and was going off on Darren because Holly came to her and told her that Darren was talking shit about her while they were out at a gathering together. I'm not gonna lie guys, Kiana ate his ass up and it's not <laughs> even funny, but let's get into it. Kiana stated, I don't go back and forth with no itch that don't pay rent or even have mail coming in their name. Why oh, am whoa. ever so mad? I got My mail for the month came. Uh, four twelve five. Uh, Darren deposits thirty three thousand. He got six thousand in the savings, so he's saying he ain't broke. Not putting your checking account number. It might not. You might have covered it up here, but it's we can see. Okay. 
got a Birkin or a Chanel gifted to me and it wasn't even my birthday. Like, why are you so mad? Laugh my ass off. You want one? She also stated, them DL niggas be the messiest. Laugh my ass off. You guys all recall a few years ago when, when Darren was first introduced, Darren had got exposed for being in a hotel room with a guy. So Kiana J is actually confirming that that was not a lie. She also st We all knew that. We all knew that he was in there with a man. They did. I'm not arguing with nobody I put on. I'm not arguing with anyone that is begging me to do a YouTube video and I spin every time. I'm not arguing with anyone that begs to get on my YouTube show. I'm not arguing with anyone who needs my help and mad as F they can't get it. She also said clocking somebody jewelry and saying it's fake when every piece of designer you own is from DH Gates is insane, is crazy to me. And then she stated, laughing my ass off, talking about let's go to the jeweler. Bring them watches and them chains. Where your watch at? Did you ever get it back after they pistol whipped you and snatched your watch outside of space? I can bring my poppy pendant and tennis chains to the jeweler, baby. Status did it. She said, meanwhile, he's wishing he was a bitch and can get pregnant. Laughing Damn. her ass off. Someone quoted oh Kiana God. and said, right, he fighting them demons within himself. He don't know who he actually is. Kiana said, clock it, laugh my ass off, because I know who I am. I'll be mad as fuck every day, too, if I was fighting gay demons. Oh, God, because, baby, uh, y'all, baby, love it here. I don't I, I, love it here. Then she said... <laughs> At the end of the day, I have more money than you. So, bitch, I get the last laugh. More money, more lit, better life. I'm comfortable with myself. I win, you lame, corny, envious, washed up ass little boy. Go cry to your boyfriend. Damn. Now, guys, y'all know Kiana ain't have to do that boy Damn. like that. But I get it. You know, it's kind of annoying when you sit here and you think you're friends with someone. And, you know, you share things with them. And y'all have certain conversations. And you even Stop, help. Stop, First of all, I don't know how accurate that DH Gate thing is, but I would never tell nobody my designer came from DH Gate. But that's also why y'all don't see me in designer because I'm not buying it from DH Gate. I would never. I'm sorry. I'd rather just not have any. I'm not buying designer from DH Gate, bro. Like, and that's another reason why I, I'm just, I'm good on all that. Like, <laughs> I don't understand why they you know, want to keep up with each other's lifestyles. I can only imagine like when, when they around each other and I know it'd be like battle of the money, who got the most money and all of that, but not enough to DH gate it. Um, and no disrespect to any of y'all that wear DH gate. I'm talking about, you know, a nigga who be with all the other rich people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like You can't be around other niggas who go buy it at the store and you buying it from DH Gate and the nerve of you to tell her. And I hope he didn't. Maybe she's lying. I hope she's lying. I'm not gonna lie, but yeah. Anyway. Them with certain things. Just for them to turn around and talk about you is really insane. Kiana even commented under the Tea Rooms video and she stated, Y'all wanna know the real truth? Darren is mad and jealous of me and Abby's friendship we had. Me and Abby been friends for years. This wasn't a new friend while he lying, laugh my ass off. He's mad Abby started coming to Houston in 2022. Me and her was hanging out a lot and he wasn't around as much. Tell the truth, Darren. That's why you really mad and started talking shit about me two years ago. Oh, that God. she's the real reason. I cut him off, y'all. I just never brought it to the net. She also stated, I literally... So that's what he was talking about. I literally made you, Darren. You're back. You're back. Irrelevant now uh, because I don't hang with you anymore. Damn major Darren you're back irrelevant now I don't hang out with you anymore she also stated I'm sick and tired of always building MFers up from the ground up when they had nothing to their name I was there I've been had everything been had a name it's always the MFers I help that turn around and bite me in the ass for no reason Jeez. everybody weird and flawed to me when I've been nothing but genuine once MFers can't use you no more, they get mad. It's a cycle. Now, whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God. <laughs> now, since then, both the Darren and Kiana had this to say.
But you guys go ahead and leave your comments down below and let us know what you think. Boom, we had a poop. I'm at a pool party. It's a okay, pool party. I don't want to talk. I'm talk about that pool party again. And I was trying to find that video. Um, but yeah. Uh, hold on. Yeah, we already watched that on my other video. I uploaded it. I was trying to find these videos. I couldn't find them. Um, so I can just like react to them. But I forgot I'm just reacting to my good sis's videos. All of them. So Real Tea, Tea Room, and uh, Voice by the People. Those are my sources. Okay. All of them. Um, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I, uh, okay. <clears throat> let me explain this DH gate thing. When you're around a bunch of niggas getting money, oh, niggas, bitches, whatever, at this point, um, you, certain things you just don't tell, right? He could buy from DH gate all the hell he wants. I just wouldn't have told none of them that. Wouldn't have told none of them that. Two seconds, because I'm, two seconds. Don't hang up though. I'm muting you. Um, so I just, you just can't, <laughs> you can't be around niggas with money. Then act like you got the money, but you shop. I don't know. I hope it's not true. That's all I got to say. His chains don't look fake. Them teeth look very much so good. I don't, I don't know y'all. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.